What is going on, everybody? It is December 2nd, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, California. And we're just gonna do a little bit of a weather update so you guys can see what's going on. And also, I was gonna take you guys by one of the free little sledding locations that I like to, to send you guys to because that's where I used to go when I didn't wanna pay. So hopefully we'll get to check it out and, and have uh, some, some snow left. Usually there is snow up there longer than most other spots on the mountain because it's it's very shady and it's at the top of the hill so it's over by by bear mountain but for right now i'm just going to do an update to show you guys what town's looking like right now we we're supposed to get a whole bunch of snow this past few days and today and coming up this weekend but it's not looking like anything's going to really pan out unfortunately i mean nothing so that's uh a bummer But a lot of people are still asking me questions. Do you need tire chains and stuff like that? No, you don't at all. You'll be totally fine. The thing that I always try to make you guys remember, though, is during the daytime, a lot of the snow melts, obviously. And then at night, what doesn't you know, evaporate will refreeze. So a lot of that snow will melt into the streets. So just be very, very cautious once temps get around freezing when you're here driving around. So it is 2.20 p.m. in Big Bear. Temperature is 50 degrees. I just wanna get the map out here. So I thought we would do a quick run through the village and then we are going to head over by both ski resorts. Just a quick drive through. Actually, we'll probably pass up on Snow Summit today and just go straight over by Bear. And then, as I said, take you guys to that, that spot that I think is perfect for the kids. Obviously, you don't have to spend any money. And that is what makes it super awesome. Hope everyone's doing great. Good to see you guys today. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry that we're not getting much snow. This is an extreme bummer but it is what it is so hopefully uh mother nature gives us some love sooner than later but it's not looking like it it looked like maybe tuesday night we might get a couple sprinkles of snow but i'm not confident um for those of you who want to know where i get my weather information from and basically all these weather forecasters get their information from the same two sources but I use the Weather Channel app. That's the one that has been most reliable for me the whole time that I've lived here. And when I first moved here, I used all the apps. I really, I had, I had like 15 different weather apps on my phone. But now I stick to the one because it's been so unbelievably re reliable. Um, even when the, the Weather Channel app says, we're, uh, it, when it changes from getting a little bit of snow to no snow, the other forecast will still show that there's supposed to be snow and it's it's super frustrating so as i said i don't want you guys to drive up here and be super bummed out spending a lot of money to be here and not get any snow so the most reliable is the weather channel app and right now i'm just going to shut this off while we're at the light hang on okay we're about to turn green here oh my gosh no we're not hang on all right, so we should be turning green in just a second. This is lagging. This is like two different lights that we haven't made it through. There we go. Entering the village. All right. So as you guys can see, there's hardly any snow left in town anywhere. Obviously the resorts do have snow, but that's few and far between. This guy doesn't know how to parallel park. <laughs> uh. Hey, just in one of those moods today, I'm sorry. 
but it's a lot better than I used to be. If you guys remember how I used to be, man, I had no patience for anything. But you guys have given me a lot of uh, a lot of strength to be a better person and be more patient with people out there. So thank you guys for that. Beautiful Christmas tree. I'm telling you, this place looks so gorgeous when there's snow everywhere. It still looks really cute now, but when there's snow everywhere, this, this village looks so pretty. Especially with all the Christmas decorations. Oh, I love this time of year. Just so bummed we're not getting any snow. And as I said, it's it's now they say we might get a little bit on Sunday night. I don't see that happening. Or on Tuesday, I don't see that happening either. But that's the story of the Big Bear forecasts, you guys. They are always hyperbole and never come to fruition. I've never experienced in the eight years that I've been doing this, never once have they said there's, there's not going to be any snow and then it snows. So it's always never, it's, it's always in the favor that does not support what we're looking for unfortunate man there's really nothing for snow here guys so I'm hoping that spot that I'm going to take you guys for the sledding I'm, I'm hoping that's actually going to present itself with some snow it might be a little bit on the icy side but we shall see i'm getting really impatient right now seriously like uh december's have never been good for snow since i've lived here however i think three or four of the years almost half the time that i've lived here we've had a little bit of snow on christmas day so Hopefully we get a white Christmas. That just makes everything so, oh man, just, it, it makes it really feel like Christmas. I grew up in at, uh, in Newport Beach and um, we never got, got snow. Actually one time on our Christmas program assembly, um, our principal on the Monday before the our Friday performance was, was, was mentioning that we're, we're gonna get a storm later on in the week and in a weird way it looked like we could get like a couple snowflakes and for Newport Beach that's so unlikely and uh, anyway as we're getting all dressed up in our classrooms for the Christmas program we hear all the parents in the parking lot like screaming happy screams and we go outside and there's humongous snowflakes coming down I mean ginormous snowflakes it only lasted about five minutes but it was oh my gosh it was so special you guys in Newport Beach like right on the beach almost so that was, that was pretty cool. That was like 1989 or 1990. Just so beautiful. I was in Miss Anderson's class. Oh my gosh, I'll, I can't believe my memory. Look at this super awesome truck right here. Very nice, very nice. Anyway. So yeah, had a little bit of snow in Newport Beach. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> I've seen it hail in Newport Beach often, not often, but a lot. And, uh, but yeah, it was just incredible to see humongous snowflakes coming down during the daytime. It was probably nine, eight thirty in the morning, nine in the morning. 
I mean, they were a good two inches in diameter, these snowflakes. And I'm hoping we get something like that up here soon, but it's not looking like it. All right, so next stop, you guys, is going to be kind of over near Snow Summit, but we're not gonna pull into the Snow Summit area. We're just gonna get a little look at it, see how, how crowded the parking lot is, and then we're gonna make our way over to, uh, to the sledding spot. And I'll take the main roads to the sledding spot just so you guys can see how simple it is. It's really easy, guys. So basically, if you're, you're staying here on Big Bear Boulevard, when you get to Moon Ridge Road, there's only one way you can go on on Moon Ridge Road, which is right. And if you're coming from the other direction, it's left. And the, the, the reason that is, is if you turn the other direction, it's not Moon Ridge Road, it's called Garston Street. So you can only go one way on Moon Ridge Road from Big Bear Boulevard and you wanna go that direction. But we'll get there shortly. But you see all this snow melt, all this wetness right here? That melts in into the street during the day, and then what? As I said, what doesn't evaporate refreezes at nighttime. So you got to be very, very cautious. If you come up here knowing it hasn't snowed for weeks and weeks, um, this is still stuff that you want to be very vigilant about because it'll turn your beautiful time into not such a fun time. But yeah, this is just really sad. There's just no snow anywhere. January and February are typically our snowiest months up here. It's, well, since since I've lived here, but I think on record, February and March are the snowiest months here. If you go to the uh, usclimatedata.com, you can go back years and years, month by month, day by day to see what happened. It's really cool, usclimatedata.com. Usually I would turn into this parking lot to avoid this light, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna turn out the light anyway. We got a student driver in front of us, please be patient. <laughs> please make sure we don't have any student drivers when we have a snowstorm though. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. It might turn you into a professional pretty quickly though. All right, we're on Summit Boulevard, guys, heading up towards Snow Summit. We're just gonna kind of pull it into the front of the parking lot and turn around. But I just wanted you guys to see how many people are coming up here to go skiing and snowboarding right now. This is just the main parking lot. Um, since we are taking the main roads to go to Moon Ridge, um, we aren't gonna be passing any of the satellite parking lots to see if those have cars in there. But yeah, it's... Uh, it's usually pretty packed all the time once this place is open. All right, so we're not gonna be able to get through here. We're just gonna make a U-turn right here. Yeah, the parking lot's totally full here. It is totally full. It looks like folks are having a lot of fun up there. Wish we could get a little closer right now, but I know they'll turn me away. Even though I'm just trying to help bring more people up here. I'm hoping after a few more years doing this, I'll be so well known up here that um, these ski resorts let me like go up on the ski lift every day, just, just to record, to show you guys what the conditions look like up close and personal. I think that'd be super awesome. It'll be a lot more work, but that's okay. I love doing this for you guys. I moved here specifically for the snow. Nothing else. Not the lake, not the mountains, not the people, just the snow. Which is probably why I stick to myself most of the time. But yeah, anyway, so we're coming back out to Big Bear Boulevard. So when you're on Big Bear Boulevard, you guys, and you get to Moon Ridge Road, this is, now we are heading towards the sledding location, okay? This is one of the couple free spots that I refer you guys to. 
Um, in some of the next next videos, when we have some snow, I'll take you to some of the other ones as well. But this is the one that is the main little sledding location that I like to send you guys to. And unfortunately, because the main road gets so much traffic, I like to take the all the side roads. But for, for those of you who don't know the side roads, I'm just going to show you how to get there on the main route. And then also for private ski lessons and stuff like that, I've got a little buddy who's, uh, he, he works as a ski instructor at the mountain and I guess they're allowed to do private, private sessions. So, uh, anybody have any questions about that? Let me know and I will get you in contact with him. He's a really nice person, just a super cool dude. So anyway, we're at the corner of Moon Ridge Road and Big Bear Boulevard. There's a Walgreens on one side and Moonridge Fuel on the other. You're gonna to wanna to turn here. I'll just bring it in case. I'm gonna be there in about 20 minutes, my brother. Okay, so we're on Moon Ridge Road, folks. We're gonna be going through the roundabout up here. So when you're on Moon Ridge Road, you're gonna to wanna to take a right on Club View. Club View Road or Club View Drive. And Club View Drive has the zoo right on the corner, so you'll know where to turn. But it's basically at the end of this whole new little roundabout situation here. really nice what they've done here it really is but the first snowstorm we had there were three signs that got knocked down by cars <laughs> so anyway we're coming up to club view right now when you get to the second part of the roundabout area here you'll just stay to the right so you're gonna just, just want to hang a right here you'll see big bear zoo right in front of you just stay to the right stay to the right and then from this point on, you just go on this road until it dead ends. Look at how beautiful that is up there. That, that cloud looks like a, like a comb over hairdo. Looks really pretty up there. We're passing the zoo to the left and also we've got the golf course right here to the left. Right here to the left. <laughs> Through here since there's a lot of shade you will get a lot of wet spots on the road this is where you you, you got to be careful when the temperatures are at freezing or below because uh, this is this will all refreeze at nighttime so be, drive very gingerly around here see what I'm talking about this whole all this melts during the day and come goes right into the street All right, so we are approaching
Bear Mountain on the left hand side. As I said, you want to stay on this road the whole time. It's not much further from here. But there's Bear. Woohoo! What is up, everybody? Yeah! Road closed to, uh, it's only for residential traffic. But I'm hoping the few of you that want to go sledding and not spend any more money since you get gouged a lot up here when we have snow. Anything to save you guys a couple bucks. Just obviously when you're in the neighborhood, be super respectful. I know you will be. Okay. So we're just about to the top. As I said, you want to go up to the top and it's not looking like there's as much snow here as I like usually. They, you, you might have to hike up a little bit right up there, but you'll get something. You'll get something, you'll find something over here. And the best part is that you don't have to worry too much about traffic and your kids sliding into the street. But yeah, there's not too much snow right here right now. But there's still enough snow to have a little fun. You'll end up sliding into the dirt probably. But yeah, this is less than I expected, but this is part of the town that maintains a lot of the snow, guys, because as I said, it's a very shady, shady area. Doesn't get a lot of direct sunlight. So this is what I'm talking about here for a free sledding area. Any little bit of snow, it's a great, great spot. You can see sledding tracks up there already. And then you guys can hike right here. There's a parking lot right behind me. There's nobody there. Let's see, I don't know if, if you can really see it, but yeah. There's some benches right here that you guys can sit down and have a chat, enjoy yourselves. But yeah, there's a, a little bit of area to go sledding here. I really thought there'd be more snow but this is literally one of the best spots that you can go if you don't want to pay anything. I suggest going to the paid places because there are uh, electric walkways that pull you up to the top, motorized walkways, just so your kids can just not use much energy and sled for hours if they wanted to. Just go up and down, up and down, up and down, have a great time. And that's what we want. We want your kids to have a good time when they come up here. All right, so that is that. Hope that helps. Because I get a lot of questions about the free spots to take the kids to. So I really hope that helps you guys. Another view of Bear Mountain. Not many people here today, so you'll have a lot of fun going up and down the lifts. You're not gonna have to wait too long. That's what I love about typically midweek, even though it's Friday today, but midweek is usually the best up here, you guys, if you wanna have more fun skiing and snowboarding rather than just waiting in the, in, in, in the lines, then midweek is always the best. Saturday and Sundays are horrible, just horrible. So try to avoid the weekends if you can. And I could be wrong, but maybe during the week it might be a couple bucks cheaper as well. I could be wrong. I know they do offer also for free, you can ski on your birthday. Just show them your ID when you get there and they will give you a free pass for the day. So yeah, we're on Club View, and we're gonna head back to Moon Ridge. Once we get to Moon Ridge Road, I'm gonna shut off the video. And just wanted to say thank you guys again for being part of this journey I'm on and part of this channel. I have a lot of fun doing this. I love making sure that you guys have fun and making sure that you guys get the most that you can out of these trips when you come up here.
was the zoo. I still haven't been to the new zoo and I'm really looking forward to going. Anyway, guys, I love you guys a lot. It's December 2nd, 2022. Once again, thank you for everything. Thank you for all the love and support. Um, I'm always here for you guys. Whatever you need, any questions you need answered, I will answer it to the best of my ability. If I don't know, I will research it myself for you. I won't just give you an answer to give you an answer. I promise you that. I have a lot more love and respect for you guys than that. Um, yeah, just thank you guys for everything. I'm, I'm super, super blessed to have you guys in my life. And uh, yeah, I just wish you all the very best always. Thanks again for everything. You take care and welcome to Big Bear, folks. Welcome to the bear.